Pele, the king of football, is a legend in the world of soccer. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest players of all time, and his impact on the sport is undeniable. But who was the man behind the legend? In this video, we'll take a closer look at the life, legacy, and death of the one and only Pele, including the challenges he faced, controversies he was involved in, and the cause of his death. Pele, whose real name is Edson Arantes do Nascimento, was born in 1940 in a small Brazilian town. From a young age, it was clear that he was destined for greatness on the football pitch. He began playing professionally, at just 15 years old with the Brazilian football club, Santos FC, where he quickly made a name for himself. Pelé's performances in the 1958, 1962, and 1970 World Cups cemented his status as a soccer legend. Beginning in 1958, at the age of 17, Pelé made his debut for the Brazilian national team and helped lead them to victory in the 1958 World Cup. He also played a key role in Brazil's 1962 and 1970 World Cup wins, scoring a total of 12 goals in all three World Cup tournaments. He was the youngest player to score in a World Cup final, at the age of 17, and the first player to score in three World Cup finals. He is the all-time leading goal scorer for the Brazil national team, with 77 goals in 92 appearances. After his success with Santos and the national team, Pelé joined the New York Cosmos in 1975 for two years, becoming one of the first big-name players to join the North American Soccer League. Pelé's style of play was breathtaking and a delight to watch. Pelé was not only an impressive scorer but also a well-rounded and diligent player. His exceptional vision on the pitch, intelligence, precise passing, and ability to assist his teammates made him stand out. With his versatility, Pelé could play in various attacking positions, including as a main striker, center forward, inside forward or second striker. In spite of his small stature, he was excellent at heading the ball, and he used his physical power, stamina, and athleticism to beat his opponents. Pelé's flair, agility, and dribbling skills were impressive, and he often used sudden changes of direction and elaborate feints to get past players. Pelé's prowess in taking bending shots, and accurate free kicks made him a favorite for taking penalties, however, he occasionally declined to take penalties as he believed it to be a cowardly way to score. However, Pelé's success was not without its challenges. As a black man Pelé faced racial injustice throughout his career but he responded to racial taunts and abuse from opposing players and their fans with magnificent displays of dribbles and goals on the soccer pitch. In addition to his success on the field, Pelé was also known for his love of automobiles. He had a collection of luxury cars, including Mercedes, Ferraris, Porsches, and Cadillacs. He also enjoyed racing cars and motorcycles and even competed in the Brazilian Grand Prix in 1972. Pelé retired from professional soccer in 1977. Thereafter he dedicated himself to his family, promoting soccer and working on various business ventures. He was married three times and had seven children. He was also a grandfather and great-grandfather. Pelé's success was not limited to the football pitch. Pelé was a UNICEF goodwill ambassador and he was honored by the Brazilian government with the Order of Merit for his services to sport and for his humanitarian work for social and environmental causes. Pelé also dabbled into several businesses, but not all of them were successful, however his reputation as a soccer legend helped him bounce back from these setbacks and reportedly earned him a fortune of $100 million. Pele's later years were marred by health problems. He was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2021 and he died on 29 December 2022, at the age of 82 from complications of colon cancer. Colon cancer is a type of cancer that affects the colon and rectum, which are the sections of the digestive system that connect the stomach and the small intestines to the anus. Colon cancer is the third most common cancer worldwide, and it is one of the leading causes of cancer deaths. 
Symptoms of colon cancer can include changes in bowel habits, such as constipation or diarrhea, as well as blood in the stool. Other symptoms can include abdominal pain, weight loss, and fatigue. There are several risk factors for colon cancer, including a diet high in red and processed meats, a sedentary lifestyle, and smoking. Other risk factors include being overweight or obese in certain conditions, such as inflammatory bowel disease. Fortunately, some steps can be taken to reduce the risk of colon cancer. These include regular screenings, which are recommended for people over the age of 45. Screening tests can include a colonoscopy, which is a procedure where a doctor looks inside the colon and rectum using a camera, as well as stool tests, which can detect blood in the stool. Other prevention measures include eating a diet high in fruits and vegetables, getting regular exercise, and quitting smoking. If colon cancer is detected early, it can often be treated successfully. The type of treatment will depend on the stage and location of the cancer, as well as the patient's overall health. Treatment options include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. Colon cancer is a serious disease that affects millions of people worldwide. It is important to be aware of the symptoms, risk factors, and prevention options. Regular screenings, starting at age 45, are important in detecting the disease early, when it is most treatable. Pele is widely considered one of the greatest soccer players of all time, having won three World Cups with Brazil and scored over 1,000 goals throughout his professional career. Pele's legacy endures today, inspiring countless players and fans around the world and demonstrating the power of sports to unite and uplift communities. We hope you have learnt about Pele's legacy. Pele will always be remembered as the king of football, a true legend of the sport. His impact on soccer and on the world will never be forgotten. We also hope you are inspired to also take care of your health. Remember, early detection is key in the fight against colon cancer. So, stay informed, stay healthy and stay true to Pele's legacy. Thank you for watching our video on uncovering Pele, the life, legacy and death of the king of football.